Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Um, all you beautiful people, please check out the description box. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content that really helps me out. Uh, but here we have a really interesting video. So we were working on the tile map in the last one, but today I think we have too many files. We got to work with pre-compiled headers now um, because there's too many includes and it takes too long to compile the whole project. Um, so let's just see this. So you go in, if you're, if you're on Visual Studio, I will go through the C, um, G++ thing as well for Linux users and code blocks. I'm not entirely sure how to do this, but I'm pretty sure uh, there is a way similar to Visual Studio, or you could check out, just Google it, just Google it and you'll check it out. If there are enough people who are having problems with this, I'll try to look into it. Uh, but if you're on Visual Studio and you have the free Visual Studio Express, you should be fine. Um, so go ahead into your tools, okay? Options, tools, options. And then you'll get down here into projects and solutions, VCC++ or VC++ project settings, and then put your build timing on here, okay? And once you do that, you'll be able to see your build time. So I did clean the build. I went in the build, cleaned the solution, took about, um, you know, 40, 41 milliseconds, and then I built the solution. And this is without pre-compiled headers. And I was testing my pre-compiled header here, which I which I created. Um, but never mind that. Just just look at these, how slow this is. Just look at this. Just look at how slow this is. This is insanely slow, right? This is insanely slow. And once this is built up, the code is generated, and you'll see the build timings. You'll see it's about 20 seconds to build uh, or 20,000 milliseconds. And that, that is, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of time building your, your shit, right? But if you want to create a pre-compiled header in Visual Studio, let's go ahead and do that first. What you need is a CPP file and an H file. Now you can name this whatever you want, kind of. I, I use the Visual Studio default stdafx.h, okay? You don't need to do this, but you can. Uh, the CPP file, you have to have it, okay? Because it creates some kind of object out of this. So CPP file, all you have to do is include the header file. You don't need anything else in there. The header file is going to have all your heavy libraries. Now, the way C++ includes stuff is just copies over code, basically, from all of these. And imagine having these in every file. So it has to copy these thousands and thousands of lines of code for each file. And that's why it takes so long. But if you just go ahead and do this, include it in one file, and then compile it, then you won't have to do that. Then it will just, you'll tell the project to use this file for almost each file, and you just include it everywhere, and it won't have to recopy everything for, for each file, okay? So that's why pre-compiled headers are great, and you should always use them in each project. But we haven't been using them from the start, because I was kind of iffy about it from the start, to be honest. I, I do use them. But, uh, but not that often. I, I will start using them for every project from now on um, because that's the best way to do it. Uh, so just go ahead and make a pre-compiled header that looks like this. Algorithm, deck, iostream, map, memory, whatever you want. All your, all your libraries, especially string, string stream, file stream, stack, list, vector. All of these things that we'll be using a lot. Map, um, all these things that we use a lot. And we'll just, we'll just put them all in here. I'll also include cmath, uh, include, um, what else is there, uh, win, windows, dot, no, we don't need windows that age, you know what, we don't need that, we'll, we'll just, we'll just keep it like this, that is fine, um, then you got all your SFML includes here, just put that in here, stdfx.h, and right click the stdafx.cpp file properties okay go in a pre-compiled headers set it to create and make sure you have it for all configurations windows 32 create okay and then you put the the name of the header file in the bottom one here pre-compiled header file stdafx.h okay so do that this will create it now since we need the object basically uh, and then I'm going to just go ahead and go into properties for your entire project. 
go into pre-compiled headers, C++ pre-compiled headers, not using pre-compiled headers, change that to use. And then you tell it which pre-compiled header to use. Now your project will look for this at least in one file to use. Now the difference here is you don't include this into the header files, you include this into the CPP files. And the project will kind of uh, assume that these files will be included everywhere so that you don't have to include them in the H file. You just do it in the CPP file and the project uh, compiler will take care of the rest. So just make this huge file with lots of stuff in here and we'll go ahead and start putting stuff in. Um, now, what we're going to do, what we're going to do first of all is remember the build time, okay? Uh, about 20,000 milliseconds to build this project. Uh, we're going to go into each of these H files. Animate, let's start from the top. Animation component.h. Remove everything here, okay? Now it's going to complain. Go into the CPP file. Don't include it below here. Include it up top, above everything. It has to be above everything. stdafx.h, your pre-compiled header. Okay? Once you do that, all of these errors will go away. Assuming you included the right stuff in the pre-compiled header, all that SPML stuff, and you should be fine. So do it up top. And I really hope you're using, um, most of you are using Visual Studio for this this project here or or linux as well code blocks as i said i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm gonna have to look into that uh but anyway let's do the same thing for everything let's just copy this whole line here and let's go into the cpp file below also include it above the h file here remove all the other library includes from the h files because that's the point that is the point we want to make sure we uh, we remove all the other ones so that we save that speed. Now the pause menu dot h, you need to include it into all the CPP files, all right? And this is going to be great. Keep GUI obviously. You want to keep that because uh, yeah, that is that's basically your own file. All right. Um, so that took a long time for some stupid ass reason, but let's keep working. Uh, that just pisses me off sometimes. But there we go. Um, that's just a, a header. Obviously, we want to do it up here as well. Uh, please don't do this again. All right, so my stuff just bugged out totally. I had to restart everything and all that crap. Um, but where were we? So we just we just added it to the pause menu, uh, and then um, basically all you want to do is just add it to all the CPP files. Uh, obviously, except this stuff here and then just go into tile map I think we were here whatever it is I gotta write this again as well include stdafx yeah if you're running off of external hard drives you know sometimes you get these issues um, gui.cpp gotta have that there as well in gui just go ahead and remove all this crap and then uh, game.cpp okay main.cpp all the cpp files all right can remove map from here as well uh, editor state all the states needed pretty much pretty much and we're gonna have to remove if we have anything here in the state age files i don't remember if i do i don't think i do i think it bugged out again Yeah, I don't think I do. Okay, we're back. Um, I tried to keep the state files pretty pretty okay, clean. I got to defragment my drives as well. Okay, state.cpp. State.h might have some. Nope. Okay, tile.cpp. I'm pretty sure tile has some stuff. Uh, yeah, tile had some stuff. So I'm just going to remove that. Uh, and then the entity and player... Entity and player. Yeah, I forgot those. So entity.cpp. Oh no, it has the STDA effects. Okay. Uh, I did that before. I was just testing it out. So uh, movement component and hitbox component, everything. Player has it. Player.h. 
we're good. Um, pretty much, I think pretty much. I'm just going to close all of these, uh, I guess. Just open one of these, whichever one. Oops, what the hell did I just do? Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's good. Entity CPP, entity.h. Um, I did include those, so I'm not sure why it's bugging out, but maybe, maybe, maybe. STDA effects in all of these. Component.h. What happened to my movement component.h? I think it bugged out when my hip when my thing crashed. Um yeah, that doesn't look right. I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh undo. Let's see if I open that. Okay, that fixed it. That fixed it. Okay. Good, good, good. That's why GitHub is great. GitHub is really nice. Uh, Entity.cpp. Sorry, I'm just going back and forth here. I'm trying to make sure this all this stuff works. Okay, so that's good. Now let's try to project. Let us go to build. Let's clean the solution. Okay, it's going to clean. And then we're going to do build solution. And it's going to build the stdfx file, of course. It's going to take a while, but look at that speed. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Everything just rebuilt. Generating the code, obviously, takes a little while. Uh, and then we got about 67 mil thousand, no, 6,700 milliseconds. So that's a lot less. And I'm just going to build a solution again. And obviously, it's already up to date. Build, rebuild solution. Uh, let's see if we can do that again. Okay. And if we were to make a little change somewhere, for example, if we said SF rectangle rect lil whatever, um, int rect, just a little change, whatever, and we run this, it's just going to go ahead and rebuild all that stuff really quickly and about four seconds in and we're, we're good. We're good to go. So that's kind of how fast that works. And it's a lot nicer to have. So I hope that works for you guys. Um, and, uh, and yeah, there you go. That is the visual studio way of doing it. Don't forget again to reiterate, include them in the CPP files, remove all the libraries from the H files. And also you need the CPP and the H file here. Um, and then, yeah, you just right click all the properties and stuff. Now to do this in GCC, um, for example, if you have your command prompt here, I'm just going to go to my that folder um, SFML RPG actually here actually I wanna whatever we'll, we'll do this CD SFML RPG um, okay so when you're here you have your pre-compiled header file and mine's name is stdafx.h okay so what you have to do, if you want to use this, they're really easy tutorials on Google, by the way. So check those out if, if I say something wrong. You don't need the .cpp file for G++, okay? You just need the H file. So you create an H file just like you did here. You might not be able to include these into your H file. Uh, you might have to look up how to do that. So for the includes for these, you might have to do it manually in each file if you're working in Linux. Um, so just don't use these. You can't. You might get errors. They might not be able to find these. Uh, but for everything else, all the standard libraries, it will work. So you just do this, and then you say G G plus plus. All right. You got to compile this thing. Um, STD C plus plus eleven as a flag. Obviously, you need the flag symbol thingy. And then we're gonna say the name STD AFX dot h all right and it's going to say fatal error no such file in directory or whatever because obviously it can't find these um there might be a way to do this i'm not sure how because i haven't worked with this a lot but if you get it compiled properly in your file you'll find a stdfx.h.gch file and this all you have to do is just include stdfx.h in your project 
uh, and it will automatically have this compiled header and it will it will use that so you don't have to do anything special other than that uh, but you might have to include them in the cpp file just like i did here uh, but that's how you compile your pre-compiled header obviously it's pre-compiled so you have to compile it um, and that's the command in in uh, g plus plus so there you go that is the way to do it hopefully you're on visual studio for my sake so i don't have to help you with the linux stuff but we got plenty of plenty of small smart people um, in uh, in Discord that can help you with the uh, with the Linux parts, uh, but I will do my best as well. So there you go. That is precompiled headers. We're pretty much done with that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Um, try it out. Use it in all your projects. Just every project you have, use precompiled headers from the start, and you will save a lot of compilation time. Uh, so thank you so much again. Take care. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you guys, and girls, in the next one. All right. Bye bye.